Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasha. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. For today, I will be trying to make brilliant tacos. So I already got all my stuff prepped. I have five pounds of chuck roast. I have 10 guajillo pods, two pasilla, two white onions, 14 garlic cloves, one ginger, six bay leaves, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, a half a teaspoon of thyme, a piece of cinnamon stick, an inch, I'd say that's one inch of cinnamon stick, a quarter cup of vinegar, four Roma tomatoes. Let's get started. So now I'm about to put, put my meat in a pot. It's going in a pot. I was gonna sear it, then I changed my mind. I just said I might as well just put it all in the pot. I did wanna sear it. So there's five pounds of chuck pot roast going into the pot. Let me wash my hands real fast. Real? Okay, I washed my hands. So now I'm gonna season my chuck pot roast with kosher salt. Make sure I get it enough. Okay, I seasoned it with kosher salt. Now I'm about to put two bay leaves in, two, then a whole white onion in. Now I'm about to fill it up with water and then I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, y'all, I almost forgot. So make sure you put seven cloves of garlic as well inside your pot. Seven cloves of garlic in your pot. Make sure you uh, have your water covering the meat. Boil for like two and a half hours, three. I got this recipe on my YouTube channel. Her name is Claudia, I forgot her last name, but we finna see how it turned out. So after I had done that, let it cook for like three hours. Then I finna show you the next step of what we gotta do with the peppers. So I already washed my cutting board. So now we're gonna work on the chili pods. I already rinsed them, that you see they were wet. But before you put them in a the pot, make sure you de -seed. You see I de -seed it all my um, chili pies out. Now I'm gonna put them in a the pot, let them come to a boil. Chili pies, let it come to a boil. And then show you what's going on next. Stick around, stick around, stick around, y'all. This is my first time making this brilliant taco. I uh, hope it turned out just like hers. Hers looks so good. And I'm gonna show you what kind of cheese, the shells I'm, I'm gonna use. But right now, we just now getting started. Stick around so you can see the apple. Okay, <clears throat> the chilies are done. So they should look look like this. Now, you can drain this water off. And then, once we drain the water off, you gotta let them sit for additional 20 minutes with that water. I had drained the water off of them. Now, you gotta let them sit for 20 minutes now. Be back. I'm back. Now that we uh, chile's pies sit for 20 minutes, I got my blender out. Now, chile's pies. In my blender, chiles, chiles. That's how you pronounce it, chiles. Put that in my blender. Now that I put that in my blender, I'm gonna put my vinegar in. If you guys have white vinegar, use white vinegar. I suggest you use white vinegar, like I say. Now that I got my vinegar in, here come the plate with everything. I'm about to add my rest of my bay leaves which is four four bay leaves my one piece of ginger my other seven cloves of garlic piece of cinnamon stick and then my whole black pepper cumin tam oregano gonna all go in this blender no, it's just pour it in there it's all getting mixed up at the same time. Now I'm about to add my beef broth. 
Make sure you guys strain your breath before you put it in here. Now I'm about to have my beef broth. See, that gunk. So now I'm about to start to get it blent up. Now let's get the blender. It should be good. Let me open it first and check. Make sure I don't have to. No, it's good. Now we gonna let it sit till I put it in my pot. I'm gonna show you what to do next with the sauce. Okay, y'all. The meat been cooking for over an hour now. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and skim. Okay. I think I skimmed enough out. So now I'm gonna let it cook some more. I'm gonna let it cook some more. I probably need some more water in it. Just a little bit more water. Hold on just a moment. Okay, now that I got that done, I add some more water and then covering, let it cook another hour. Then we're going to start make, putting the sauce in. Okay. I'm going to move the onions and garlic cloves. That sauce I made, I'm about to strain it in. Yeah. So this has gonna look once you mix your sauce into it. Let it continue boiling. Now I'm gonna go to my tomatoes. I already got my pot with my water in it. Put my four tomatoes in here and let it cook and come to a boil. And I'll be back once I let this cook. This is how your tomato is supposed to look once it's cooked. I already drained the water out. Now I'm about to take the, take this and put the tomatoes into my blender. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. That's enough, just a little bit. Now I'm about to blend again. Blend the tomatoes, cover it up to make a tomato sauce. Cause it go, this go in the sauce as well. Turn it on. And I'm gonna pulse it. Now it should look like once I put it all in the pot. So I'll be back. All right, y'all. We finally towards the end. I've been cooking this meat for three hours. Let's see if it's tender. Let's see if we can break it. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. See? Oh, this stuff hot. See how it's falling off? See? Oh, 
Yes, he has shredded. So we take the meat out. Go ahead and take the meat out. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that next. But you gotta let your meat cool off so you can shred it because it gotta go back in. Now, come to the sauce. This stuff leaking off my own cutting board. Gotta be careful. Now I'm moving this because this is when I make my shells. I'm gonna move. turn the sauce to raw. I just hope this thing stay on. I'm gonna do a little at a time. Once you got your sauce looking like that, let me wash my hands, y'all. You're going to put it back in the pot. Then you're going to add your tomatoes, the sauce that you made for your, your tomato sauce, once the tomatoes I had cooked. You're going to add that into the pot. Then you're going to let it simmer. Then you're going to put your meat back in. Okay. Now I'm finna get some of this for my sh taco shells. I'm gonna just get a little bit. That's enough for my taco shell. Okay. You did that. Put some sauce to the side for your taco shell. This is how your sauce is supposed to look. Oh, that look good. Ain't nothing but broth now. Nothing but broth. Now, you gotta add the strainer back. Cause we gotta put our tomato sauce in it. Look at this! All this strain we have to do. Okay, stir. Just stir your tomatoes. Okay, I'm stir it up. Cause we gotta simmer. Simmer, simmer, simmer. And once it's him, I'm put my um my meat back in there. But let's get to this meat, y'all. Can y'all see it? Let's start shredding it. So I'm about to shred it. She was using her hands to pull it pull it apart. I think that a fork to do just fine. So once I'm done shredding, I'll be back. My sauce simmer now. I'm finna put the, add the meat back on. I finished shredding all the meat. Put it back in the sauce. Then we finna let it simmer a little bit longer. Prepare your tacos and the cheese I'll be using. So stay tuned. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna believe this. I thought I was recording how to prepare the tacos. And my um, I ain't press record. Now I gotta show you guys how I prepare the tacos. The cheese I'll be using is the Supremo Hawaka cheese and the uh, corn tortillas mission. The yellow corn soup sauce. I got skillet on. Add a little bit of olive oil. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then dip my shell. I'm just gonna get one shell right now so you guys have to do this. I'm gonna dip my shell in my meat that way because I did the whole process and I did let my olive oil preheat. While that's preheating, I got my shell. Got to dip a little bit in this meat and bring it over here. Let it cook. Okay. So 
not gonna clip my tail over. Got that cooked over. I'm gonna add a little bit of meat on one side. Just a little bit. And spread it around, spread it over a little bit more. Add my meat. Then add my cheese, a little bit of cheese. Not a lot, just a little bit more. A little bit more. Close my cheese up. Oh, this is kind of hot. Let me use my thing. <laughs> yeah, me. Put it right there. So let me turn it off. Flip it over. Okay, y'all. I know my plate look kind of messy, but I'm just pissed off. I got to re-record this, and I, re I did it, and I didn't press record. So this is my bread taco. I'm going to add a little bit of the sauce with the cilantro and onions. And there you have it. A finished, completed bread taco.